Hi everybody, this is Southforce Production YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sidechain kick to the base using silent kick, which is pretty cool because silent kick gives you ability to use sidechaining in way more creative way than just if you're using regular kick to sidechain to anything else. So sidechain is basically when something plays like bass and the kick hits, the bass ducks and it gives a lot of room for the kick to shine. So what I got here, let's hear it first. It's a kick and bass. It sounds all right. They already EQ'd and everything, but without side chaining, they still kind of fighting for the space in the low end area. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a second kick. We just copy it and make it unique. And then we're gonna assign this unique kick to a new insert. So now you can see I'm gonna turn everything off. Here's our kick. All right, and as you can see, because we copied the volume is exactly the same as that one. What I usually like to do, I'm just, I just like to reset the volume, so it has the original uh, volume, it almost goes to the zero. So then what you wanna do is, uh, you wanna lower the volume down on a master. So you click on this uh, insert, then you go to the master track down here, and just decrease the volume all the way down so you don't hear anything that was going on there. Now you can play it and you will not, will not hear it at all. But it's there. All the information goes through, it just, there is no sound whatsoever. Next thing what you wanna do is repeat the pattern of your kick exactly in the same way. So this kick gonna pretty much sound this kick just repeats itself next step what you want to do so we want to side chain our silent kick to this base so we're gonna highlight our silent kick even we can rename it we can rename it and just s k silent kick change the color if you want okay so this is our silent kick so we want to side chain it to our base so you highlight it right here and then you go over here right click and you pick side chain to this track now it's side chain to this track next thing what you want to do you want to go here to your base and add fruity limiter which is already added here in fruity limiter what you want to do is to set threshold on the very like lowest almost but you kind of have to like uh, do it according to the your ear. Then knee goes like around this area. You don't touch ratio. Over here we want to put side chain and just drag it up and drag your mouse up or uh, right click and you want to pick whatever you want. So we need SK as you remember SK this. So we want to pick SK and which is number one. It probably will be like that, so you right click and you pick whichever insert you want. So we're gonna do like that, SK. Let's play silent kick and the bass all together and I'll show you what the silent kick actually does to the bass. So you can see when the kick, when the silent kick hits, the bass docks. And over here you can already play with the parameters, you can make it less active, you can make it drastically like go all the way down, you can play with knee, it's all up to you. I don't usually mess with this but you can play around with other uh, settings and make it sound the way you want. It's pretty much, I usually like it, leave a little bit like that. Of course, it depends on the song. 
If you do more like house music, you probably want to like all the way down. If you do a little side chaining here and there, especially on some chords progression or specific instruments, you want to leave it like you don't want to like dock it down all the way. You want like some sound go through sometimes. But in this case, for this bass, for sub bass, we're gonna we're gonna do like almost all the way. Something like that. And now we can turn on the actual kick and hear it with kick. And now I'm gonna turn off the side chain and you can hear the difference without side chain. I'm gonna turn on and off so you can hear. This is with on. This is off. see on the waveform over here it ducks so if you want it even more just play around it depends on your taste you can do like that Also, as you can see, the volume of the bass is lower than the kick. So in this case, I would probably add a little bit of volume for the bass or lower the kick. But I probably would be adding right now some volume to the bass. To match him. So we need around 9. So you can see it gives a lot more room for the kick and this is like the fantastic way of giving more energy to your drum. Same thing could be applied to your snare, clap, play around with it and this is just one of the more creative ways to do it. I hope this video was useful for you and it will improve your music production. Let me know in the comments below if this tip helped you and you will use it. Write in the comments what type of topics would you like me to cover in the future and I will definitely do them. And yeah, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.